What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tank Be Chopping, and I'm back with another video. Today's video, we're actually gonna be doing a product review, and we're gonna be reviewing the new Andis Research Shaver. Let's get it. All right, guys, so this is the Andes Resurge Shaver, and I feel like I'm saying it weird because I've been saying it a lot already, you know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, this is the new Andes Shaver, guys. I did do an unboxing of this shaver. Uh, I'll leave it down in my description and in the comments so y'all can go check that out. I did leave some initial thoughts, but this video, I actually want to talk about it a little more and what do I like and not like about this shaver. So jumping straight into it, guys, looking at this shaver, I like the design of it a lot. Like ergonomically, it's probably one of the best shavers out right now. I really like the rubber grips on it I like where the on switch is placed I like the fact that you can charge it with a USB plug you know what I'm saying I like the lid on it all in all guys it's a nice design shaver I'm actually really impressed with this design because if we look at the older stuff here is the older shaver and it's just it's a big difference as you can see this is the older shaver and this style of shaver has been around for like now I want to say since like 2007 2008 or so so the fact that they came out with a brand new uh, style shaver really I think is, is a good idea for Andis to try to bring out some new products especially because they've been putting out the same stuff for so long so the fact that they put this out I think is really dope and I'm glad that they did it let's go ahead and take this off turn this on for y'all so as you can hear it's not too loud I'm gonna go ahead and compare it to another another shaver here's my Babyliss foil shaver so as you can hear that one's a little louder than this one and then here is my FX3 compared to the resurge so as y'all can hear, it is a quieter shaver. Uh, it just It's just a little more sleek than the other shavers out right now. Now, as far as performance-wise, here's where things get kind of iffy. Now, fresh out the box, when I got this out and I charged it up and started to use it, it worked great, you know what I'm saying? If y'all remember on my older video, I actually shaved my head with this shaver and it worked perfect. Uh, I didn't feel it pulling, it wasn't biting or anything. Shaved it down really good, shaved it down really close, and it just gave me a nice, comfortable shave. And I was like, man, this, this machine is really impressive. But as time went on with me using it, I can feel that it just wasn't getting everything as bald as I liked it. And that may be because the foils may be a little duller now. Obviously, once you use your machine a couple times or a good amount of times, it's going to start to uh, dull out a little bit. But I just don't feel that I should have did that in so little of a time. It did that within a week of me using it. And that's not something that I like about this shaver, especially since we're paying about 200 bucks for this shaver. I just feel that it could have lasted a little longer as far as like cutting super, super great. Now, does it still work? Yeah, it still does work. It still gets it still gets it down short, but it just doesn't get it as close as it did when I first got it out the box. So how close does this shaver actually get? It gets it pretty, pretty close, guys, but I did feel that the FX3 got the, uh, got the hair down shorter and closer, and that's just my personal opinion just from what I see and what it looks like to me is that the FX3, it still gets it down a little shorter than this shaver does, but that doesn't mean this is a bad shaver. Just with my use of it after that first week, it just started to die down and it just wasn't working as good as it was when I got it out the box now most machines are gonna do this but like I said guys I just don't feel it should do that in such a short time frame as far as runtime you get about 60 minutes runtime and that's not as close as the other shavers the other shavers you get about 90 minutes to two hours of runtime now I know you're thinking whether it's 60 minutes or 90 minutes or 120 minutes what does it matter you're we're not using this shaver throughout the whole time you know we're turning it off and I say this a lot in my videos that we're not using these machines continuously so we get longer time frame using these machines and yes we do but 60 minutes of runtime just isn't enough for me especially considering that we're paying $200 or around $200 for this machine I feel like they could have did something to give us a little more runtime now remember guys 60 minutes of runtime still lasted me like four or five days in the shop I put this to charge on a Tuesday and uh, I used it all day Wednesday all day Thursday all day Friday and then Saturday I noticed it was you know it was on its last little uh, it was on the last charge it wasn't working as well so it took about four days to die on me and once it got down to that last charge I felt that it was gonna die like it just didn't feel as strong anymore didn't feel like it was bought now as good I felt like I had to keep going over my clients head to get it as short as I wanted it and that's not something that I really like like in a shaver now I know y'all thinking dang you just bashing this shaver and I'm not trying to bash this shaver guys I'm just trying to give y'all an honest review of it like honestly I still like this 
shaver a lot. Like out of all the shavers that have ever came out, this is probably my favorite shaver ergonomically. But use wise, I'm gonna need a shaver that I can use for a long amount of time, doesn't down me as quick and gives me a good close shave multiple times, you know what I'm saying, throughout the week, throughout the month or whatever. So ergonomically, yeah, this is my favorite, but just as far as the way it works, it probably isn't. But am I gonna continue to use this? I probably will because I do like it a lot. I probably will have to go ahead and buy me a new head and some new uh, cutters for this shaver just to make sure I can keep giving my clients a better shave. But other than that, guys, it works pretty good. And I know y'all thinking like, dude, you were bashing this shaver a lot, but I'm not. Honestly, this is probably one of the better shavers out right now next to the Babyliss shavers. Now, the best shavers out right now are the two Babyliss shavers, the, uh, the double foil shaver and then the FX3, in my opinion, are the best shavers out. But I will say this one comes in at, you know, top on the list, this comes in at number three, and then everything, all the other shavers fall in behind it. And that's just my opinion, guys. But for 200 bucks, I'm not sure if that's a good buy. Now, if you can get it for like 140, 150, I would think it's a good buy because it does look really sleek. It, it, the ergonomics of it are super good, and it does work, it does get the job done. And, and you may like it more than I do, you know what I'm saying? These are just my thoughts and my opinions on this shaver. But like I said, guys, if you can get it for like 140 or 150 I would say go ahead and buy it but for $200 I would say hold off on it for hundred dollars you can get other shavers that work a lot better but once again guys these are just my opinions on the shaver I'm not here to knock any company or knock this machine I'm just giving you my thoughts but that's basically it for this video guys I just want to give y'all a small informative video on what I thought about this shaver if you like this video please make sure to smash that like button also if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe one time for your boy and that's basically it YouTube I appreciate Appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, let's go. And we're gonna be reviewing the Andis Research Shaver. Let's get it. Andis Research. And we're gonna be reviewing the Andis Research Shaver. Andis. I can't even say that word. And we gonna. <clears throat>